I'm going to be sharing my finished 4x4 finale. So I picked four products at the beginning of April and I've been working through those products since then. I have made some really good progress on a lot of my products. There were several ones that I had switched out and started working on something different. There was only one that I didn't really feel very good about and I made very little progress, but everything else I felt really good. So. I'm going to start with the um, primers. I had made it my goal to finish up a bunch of primers, so I finished off a Smashbox one, I finished off some DHC sample packets, and then I also finished off this L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. None of them were primers that I absolutely loved. They were okay, but I definitely have ones that I like better. I've really been liking the Hourglass um, Mineral Primer or something to that nature, and the NYX Angel Veil ones. Um, but these, none of the ones that I finished were ones that I would repurchase, but I did finish off this L'Oreal one that I had been aiming to finish after I finished some of those other ones. I finished off the Milani Shadow Eyes pencil two months ago, I think, and then I started working on this Rue Beauté Bright Eyes pencil. This one I've been using pretty much every day, so there's still a lot of product in there. If you compare it to here, I still have, you know, probably an inch and a half of product left, but I have made really good progress. It was originally probably about a fourth of the way up and now it's into the product when I roll it all the way down. So I do feel really good about that progress. I didn't figure that I would finish both of those eye pencils up so I just feel good that I made progress at this and I started to like it a lot more as I've used it. Originally when I used this I blended it out a little bit and then I began to realize that it wasn't necessary to blend it out because it just lost some of its intensity. Um, the Milani one I needed to blend it out otherwise it didn't look very good. So I made good progress in that one. I finished off my Revlon Colorstay Blemish Concealer last time, and then I was working on my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This one is probably mm, not quite halfway done, I would say, but almost halfway done. Um, and this one's a fine concealer. I have been using my other ones a little bit more rather than just using this one because um, they just stay a little bit longer. This one doesn't stay as well as I would like to, and I've had some really major blemishes lately. So this one I will continue to use. One thing that I've noticed is the packaging has gotten really messy around the outsides, and if I try to rub it off, this black stripe right here rubs off on my hand, which is really gross and kind of annoying. Um, so I don't know that I would repurchase this concealer again. It's decent, but there's other ones that I think I like better, and I have a lot of concealers in my rotation, so I don't have to worry about repurchasing one anytime soon. And then the last product that I had in my challenge that I barely touched is my Benefit Bella Bomba Lip Gloss. This one is probably, yeah, if I fold it here, there's about that much product left. So there's a lot of product left in here. I just didn't feel like reaching for this one for whatever reason. I don't know why I didn't. I just, I had no desire. There were other lip products that I liked better, and this one wasn't one that I wanted to go for. So there's that. I didn't finish that one or even really use that one as much as I would have liked during this project. It went in a purse for a while and a pocket for a while, and I just never reach for my products when they're there. So. That's how it went overall. I think for a little while I'm just going to not worry about doing any more project pans. I know there's a bunch of ones going through right now, but I have my wedding coming up, which I've mentioned in like every video. But I'm going to be out of town for the week before my wedding, and I just don't want to have to worry about using specific products. So at some point I might join it again, but for right now I'm going to put it off. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I would love to hear how this project went for you guys, or if you guys are involved in other projects, I love to watch them. I'm just not going to do one for right now. Um, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you had a great 4th of July, and I will see you in my next one.